Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat Elicard Tepesh. What? Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This time I'm going to show you how to defeat Orlok Dracul, or OD, the Librarian. OD only appears in the Ice Tomb as a boss if you have books checked out of the library. Could be one, could be two, could be three, doesn't matter. As long as you have a book checked out, he will get angry at you for not returning it and fight you. Now. Don't be afraid, fighting him as a boss and defeating him does not rule him out as a vendor. He still comes back and lets you check out books. So, the best way to deal with this fight is to flip the room upside down. I was having a lot of difficulty with this fight, but luckily another YouTube uploader who goes by the name Baby, I will link his channel down below, he helped me out and suggested to flip the room upside down. This makes this fight a lot easier. There are still flame pillars to avoid. He can still jump very, very close to you and slash you. Eventually, as you whittle down his health, he will start transforming into the wolf, the bat, and the mist. And uh, he can deal a lot of damage to you, especially as the bat. He does the wing crush and uh, just does a ton of damage. OD's major ability uh, that is very noticeable, he can stop time. I don't believe that there is a way to stop this from stopping you. I, I don't think it's like counterable or anything. However, I do know that it is possible to fight him without getting hit. I think you just have to time the... Uh, the icicle dodges very, very cleanly. But in any event, you want to uh, you know, just have really high armor. The difficulty scaling for this boss is huge. It is a huge difficulty spike. So my setup for this boss with armor and weapons, I had the Durandal as a weapon, had Ancient Tiara for the headpiece, Coronation Gown for the body, my rings or the accessories were the Silver Power Ring and the Traverser's Ring, and then the scarf was the Talisman Scarf. I was getting absolutely thrashed until I started equipping these, and even then I had a very, very hard time dealing with OD. As he gets lower and lower in health, he starts really busting out his abilities. The bat is one of the deadliest, and I mean the deadliest abilities that he has. It will, he turns into the mist, and then very suddenly turns into the bat and swoop towards you. You can double jump over the bat, or you can try to like hide in a corner and pray to God he doesn't hit you. Chances are he will. So when you start recognizing what the bat really looks like and how it's gonna appear, double jump over it and you'll be safe. The flame pillars you also have to watch out for, because even though they are spawning from the ground, they do reach all the way up to the ceiling. There was the bat, I think that might've been the first or second time he did it in this fight. That means he's getting low on health, he's probably about halfway there. So if you can get him to transform into the bat, you're halfway there, just, just keep, keep going and you're gonna get it. But as you can see there, even with the coronation gown, he's dealing 223 uh, damage per hit with the bat. So he is a monster. Um, it's it's really crazy because he's upside down, you're upside down. It's You gotta kind of think backwards, especially with respect to gravity, because when he jumps, it may seem like he's just gonna jump right towards you, but he's actually gonna fall down. But he can slash you with a sword in, in that instance, so you gotta be careful. Um, he will throw icicles at you, but at this stage of the game, with the armor you have, they're probably only ever going to do one damage to you, so they're not that huge of a deal. you got to be very cognizant of where they're coming from. There he goes with the bat again, starting to swoop down. He even jumped left, turned into the mist, turned into the bat, and then swooped right. He's very, very tricky. I am so glad they made <laughs> this guy a boss and just gave him Alucard's moves. I, I am so happy that Iga just did it. I hope Konami doesn't say anything because this is probably the greatest boss in the game, especially for an optional boss. And again, he is optional, so he should be difficult. As you can see there, he just did a huge combo with the mist and the bat, and I think he might have even hit me with a sword. I don't even know. It's like 500 damage in two seconds. Um, but yeah, so in general, avoid the icicles as best you can. Try not to get too close to him, otherwise he will slash you with his sword. As he gets lower in health, he will start transforming into the bat and doing a wing crush towards you. That's his deadliest ability, so be very, very careful. He can also transform into the wolf, uh, although it won't be too much of an issue when you're on the ceiling and the room's upside down, uh, but he can still transform into the wolf and lunge toward you. So if you're in the air while he's doing that, uh, you will take a bunch of damage. Um, eventually, you will whittle down his health enough to the point where he falls. It is very important to note that killing him does not rule you out of using him as a vendor. When you revisit him, he tells you that you have bested him, therefore you command him, and he lets you check out as many books as you want. So if you've done the 8-bit nightmare, if you need a guide for that, I'll link that at the end. If you have done the 8-bit nightmare and you have um, the, the final book, 
you can check out a total of 21 books as soon as you beat him. So once you beat him, go back to the library, get all 21 books, and you will become a powerhouse. And everything will fall beneath you, with the exception of the final boss, which is coming up soon. Alright, if you guys need any help, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. If you like this video and you want to see more Bloodstained Guides, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you like this content a whole lot, please uh, consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below. All right, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.